In this video, we're going to have a look at the start of what we call a general formula or a formula in letters, where I can give you one thing and you can give me the other one by using the formula. So let's go through an example to do with these flowers in pots. Complete the following table showing the number of flowers in a pot. Well, you can see one has got three in it. So if we have two of them, it will be six. Three of them would be nine, 12, 15, 18, yeah? Like we've done before, it's going up by three each time. But we don't want to go from one term to next. I want to be able to tell you, well, as you see down here, what if it was the 37th pot? How many flowers do we have all together? So what we need is we need to look for a connection between the top and the bottom. Well, as it is going up by three each time, this is increasing three times as fast as the top line. Because look, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, and so on. So the number of flowers is equal to three times the number of pots. However, I don't like having to write that much for a simple formula. In maths, we like to abbreviate things. If I use P for pots and F for flowers, this formula would become F equals three times P, wouldn't it? Yeah? But we make that even shorter in maths because if we've got numbers and letters, we don't need a times between them. So what I would write for meaning three times P is I would just write F equals three P. And that is as short as I can make it. Yeah, it's a lot shorter than that one and it's a bit shorter than that one. And we need to know that if I write three next to a P, it means three times P. Last bit, it's asked me to use my formula. If I had 37 pots, how many flowers? Okay, so it's just F equals three times and the number of pots is 37. So what's that, 90 and 21, 111. So that would give me 111 flowers. Okay, so you complete the table, unless it's been done for you. What it goes up by each time, because it's going up by the same thing each time, is what we multiply by. And then what we do is we replace number of flowers and number of pots with a letter that we've either been given or chosen for each. And then lastly, we remember with the formula that we don't need a times. So three times P in algebraic notation, we write just as three P. So F equals three P is just a much shorter way of writing that. And then to use it, want the number of flowers. Okay, so it's three times 37, because it was 37 pots, 111 flowers. Okay, um, in today's exercise, you'll find some which are like this, and somewhere they give you the table completed and just want you to write down a formula. Okay, so I'd like you to have a go at that exercise now. 